Hey everybody, Ed here. And uh, this is part two of my Kenai Gold Black Sands Challenge. Uh, BJ the Crow challenged me to do this uh, Black Sands Challenge. And I panned it out with a pocket gold claw. And I got 0.125 grams of gold out of it. So now, I am taking the cons that I panned. And I'm going to put it on my Martin Prospecting water table. And see what I missed. Uh, and then we'll uh, see how good my challenge went. Alright. Won't well, take too long. I'm going to uh, show you a little bit. And then cut it off. And come back. And let you know what I found. Alright. Let's see some water action. So far I haven't found anything except three little flecks. And I put uh, two little spoonfuls through. And I forgot that I was uh, going to redo this and let everybody see about it. Some of you guys don't know what this table is, but it is a water table. And what a water table does, it's a uh, slow process. As you can see, uh, water comes out through here, um, and then in this table there's little tiny bumps and ridges. Uh, it essentially is a cutting board mat for uh, projects. And being gold, with its weight proportion, it will stick into these little mats. And, uh, all the lights, the black sands, the blonde sands will uh, flow right on out down the bottom. As you see, it kind of builds up right here. You just add a little proportional force, and it'll get everything moving again. You don't actually have to sweep it unless you really want it to uh, speed up the process. It's no big deal. You don't get this, uh, you don't use a water table for uh, speed recovery. It's uh, something that's going to have a lot of free time on your hands. Today, I have a lot of free time on my hands. Seems everybody's up in Indiana prospecting for gold. Unfortunately, I didn't get off work till 3 o'clock, 3.30 this morning. So, I did not want to make a four and a half hour drive up there. And then jump out in the creek in 46 degree weather. And today is about 60 degrees, sunny. I'm actually going to have to lose one of these shirts here in a second. Well, I won't take up too much more of your time, because this is definitely not the most thrilling thing to ever watch, as far as gold prospecting goes. It is quite dull, quite boring, but it gives you something to do, a nice sunny March, mid-March day. Take care all, and I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I am back, and I finished up my black sands, and I did find some color in there, off the water table. I found, what was it, uh, approximately six to eight small fly poop specks. I figure it's not actually gonna move the scale, 
but I will take a picture later on and show you what I got and see if it even moves the scale any. Uh, the funny part is this water table is previously owned by somebody else and as I was uh, sitting there tapping on the table trying to you know just shake it a bit I actually had gold fall out uh, from the pump side uh, so evidently they didn't uh, filter out their uh, gold too well good for me bad for them all right be right back hope you're all having a great day talk to you soon bye not enough gold just as I thought did not move the scale once again